like this is how it's gonna look when it's gonna be up on both sides though. It's gonna be, it's gonna be just like this here when you get in here for your NKL. Y'all ready? Yep. Yeah. Alright, first I like to start with my NKL. First thing I like to start with is my seat belt. Seat belt securely mounted. It's not ripped or frayed. Properly adjusted to me. My mirrors are properly adjusted to me. My electric horn and my air horn. Both work properly. My windshield, clean, not damaged, has no obstructions. Now I like to perform my safe start. I'm gonna check and make sure my vehicle's in neutral. I'm gonna turn my truck on to the on position. First thing I wanna check is my ABS light. Make sure it cuts on and cuts off. If it stays on, my vehicle needs service. Now I like to check my temperature gauge. Make sure my temperature gauge is climbing to a normal, safe operating range. I like to check out my lights. My left turn signal. My right turn signal. Four-way flashes. And my high beam indicator. They all work properly. I like to check my volt meter. My volt shows that my alternator is charging. I like to check my oil gauge, make sure it's building to a normal safe operating range. And I like to check my air gauges to make sure that they are building to the governor cutoff between 120 and 140 PSI. I like to check my windshield wipers. My arms and blades are secure, not damaged, operate smoothly. My windshield washing fluid and wiper operate smoothly. I like to check my heater. Make sure my heater is heating my cab. And I want to make sure my defrost is defrosting my windshield. Now I like to perform my tug test. I like to start off by checking my tractor brake by pushing in my trailer brake to make sure that my tractor holds my trailer. With my vehicle in the lowest forward gear, I'm going to give it just a slight tug. It held. Now, I like to test my trailer brake by pushing in my tractor brake to make sure that my trailer holds my tractor. With my vehicle in the lowest forward gear, I'm going to give it just a slight tug. It held. Now, I like to check my service brake by pushing in both my tractor and my trailer. I'm going to drive up five miles per hour, press my service brake to make sure that my vehicle doesn't pull to the left or to the right. Hold y'all balance, hold y'all balance, hold y'all balance. In here, now, I like to build up my air pressure before I start my one, two, three air brake test. Put the truck in here to pull out my brake. With my air pressure bill to the governor cut off between 120 and 140 PSI, I'm ready to start my one, two, three air brake test. I'm gonna push both my tractor and my trailer violin. I'm gonna put my vehicle in drive. I'm gonna cut my truck off and turn it back on to the on position without starting. First thing I'm gonna do. Just hold my feet on the brake for one minute to make sure I don't lose no more than four PSIs within that one minute while listening for leaks inside and outside the cab. And remember, you're going to stay there until he tell you your one minute is up. All right, now I need somebody to save my one minute up. Your one minute up. All right. Now, I will begin to fan my brakes to approximately 55 PSI to where my warning buzzer light should come on and sound off. Now that my low warning buzz air came on and sounded off, I continue to fan my brakes to approximately 40 PSI to where both my tractor and trailer buyers should pop out.
this concludes my one, two, three, half break test. Can you please assist me with my lights on the outside of my vehicle? Yes. 